my channel, I am, I just did a little makeup and I'm so pale, you guys. I need to self tan really badly. Anyway, I'm um, straightening my hair, obviously, because I don't have time to curl it. And so I'm just going to straighten it really quickly um, because I let it air dry last night. I've had a pretty productive day so far, um, which I haven't had, I feel like, in a while because I've been on this sucky schedule that I think I told you guys about in one of my previous vlogs where I'll drop Cam off at school early in the morning and then I'll go back to sleep for an hour before Trey wakes up because Trey doesn't wake up till like 9. Today he woke up, it was like 9.30 today. Um, so he really slept in. And I've just been like going back to sleep for an hour and because I'm so tired. But then by the time that I wake up around 9, I just feel like so much of the morning has already gone and I don't feel productive at all and I don't have a great day. And that's been happening a lot lately and I'm like, okay, Liza, you need to make some kind of change. So uh, I was talking to one of my girlfriends um, who lives nearby and she works out um, out of her garage. She has like all of this workout equipment and she invited me to start working out with her. And so that is what I hopefully will start to do. I was going to do it today. Um, and she works out like earlier in the morning and I was going to do it today, but Alex wasn't able to watch the kids this morning. Um, he had to be on a call last minute, which always seems to happen with like his schedule. Like he could easily end up on a call last minute or like have some meeting or something to do. So it's kind of hard to make plans around that and depend on him to watch the kids because I just never know. So anyway, I wasn't able to do that with her this morning, so hopefully I can do it another time. I decided not to go back to bed this morning since I was planning to get a workout in anyway. I just did my treadmill, which, guys, my treadmill's ancient. Alex bought me this treadmill as a gift when we were, I think we were like engaged, um, or maybe dating, maybe engaged. Yeah, because we lived, we were living together, so we were engaged. And he bought me this treadmill, and it's, so it's like, over 10 years old and I need a new one. I really want the Peloton tread, um, so I don't know. But I used my treadmill and I did the 12, I think it's called 12 330 or something like that, where it's like you do a 12 incline, so you do a very high incline, you do it for 30 minutes and then at three, the speed is three. Um, and it's supposed to be a really great like walking workout. So then I did like kids breakfast, took care of the kids, um, Trey, has been extra fussy today. I don't know if he's, hopefully he's not starting to get sick or anything. I mean, he's had a little cold, like a uh, runny nose, but I think he might be teething, like gnawing on his fingers and just crying so much. So um, I put him down for a nap and he has been sleeping really well since like, I was a little nervous that he wouldn't even want to go to sleep because he just didn't feel, like it didn't seem like he was very comfortable. Um, so, um, he's sleeping right now. I honestly, I think it's the, um, Dreamland Baby Sleep Sack because I used that for his nap today and it just seems to immediately calm him. Like when I put that on him, he like stopped crying and I like held him and rocked him in my arms for a little bit and then I put him down and he just like went right to bed. So I think it definitely soothed him like it always does. That thing is honestly uh, a game changer and since it's weighted it feels like their mama's like hugging them and I think it's very soothing and very comforting for babies it's always worked for Trey and it worked today when he was obviously uncomfortable it helped to get him to go down for a really nice long nap so hopefully when he wakes up he'll feel a lot better I need to pick up Cam um, and then I have a little bit of work to do things around the house cleaning. Um, oh, I'm going to make a crock pot dinner tonight. I will show you guys that I've never made before. Um, it's like a chicken pasta thing. I saw it on Instagram actually. It was like going viral. Someone posted it and it looks really good and really easy. And so I bought the ingredients. I changed a few things up that I'll show you. Um, but I will film that too and share that with you guys. So you guys have an easy crock pot dinner to make because we all love our crock pot meals. Okay, so just finished my hair. Also, I always get questions on this 90s sweatshirt literally every time I wear it. This is the one that I created. Um, I did a collab with Social Wear. I feel like it was two years ago now and came out with this awesome 90s sweatshirt. And I may or may not be coming out with another one. 
another 90s sweatshirt. But stay tuned for that. I actually got, where is it? Lash glue on my sweatshirt a long time ago. And I have another one as a backup. So I have two of them, but I haven't opened that one. It's still in the packaging just because I'm like saving it um, for when this one really just, I need to like toss it. Um, but I'm going to wear this one like to, to the end before I open the other one. But I got lash glue on it a while ago and I never figured out how to get it out. Like I've tried a bunch of things and I cannot get the lash glue out. And I've washed it so many times at this point, I don't think it's going to come out ever, um, which is fine, whatever. Like I'm going to wear it with a stain anyway, because it's so cute. So, um, <laughs> are you sleeping in my bed, honey? Huh? Quentin. You want to go pick up Cam with me? Do you want to pick up Cam with me? Okay. Hey, Trey Trey is up. Hello. <laughs> Hi, my honey. How was your nap? Slept for a really long time. Trey just slept for like three hours. That was crazy. Mwah. Is that a good nap? Got the hiccups. Uh-oh. Okay, my sweet boy. You ready to get up? Yay, yay, yay. Yay, 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 yay. Yay, yay. You want to see your brothers? So here is the Dreamland Baby weighted sleep sack up close. But we have been using this with Trey for so long. Like this one is the 12, I believe, yeah, 12 to 24 month. So it's the large. Um, and it's just honestly been the best. And again, like I said earlier, it makes him feel so comforted and secure. And it helps him to stay asleep longer to fall asleep faster so whenever there's like any kind of like issue with him not being able to sleep or fussy or having like just a hard time sleeping in general i always just use this sleep sack and it works wonders it just naturally it reduces stress and makes him feel secure and um, it also has the double zipper so you can do easy diaper changes if you need to comes in a bunch of different sizes a bunch of different colors it's safe for them to roll sit stand all of that like Trey can move around in it just fine but anyway i highly recommend this sleep sack honestly if your baby or little one is having trouble sleeping at all um or even just staying asleep for a while because like i said earlier Trey slept for three hours that's an amazing nap for him and i swear every time he uses a sleep sack his sleep is so good like he just it seems like he just really is in a deep sleep and sleeps for a lot longer so um i do have a 20 percent off a coupon code for you guys which is liza adele i'm going to put it on the screen i'm going to put a link down below in the description as well you will get 20 percent off site-wide so anything on the dreamland baby site is going to be 20 percent off plus you get free shipping so amazing deal definitely go check it out um, thank you so much for Dreamland Baby for sponsoring this video and working with me. Absolutely love this brand. I recommend it to all my friends, family, because um, I just feel like it's a must-have. Okay, so I'm making a creamy chicken pasta. I saw this on Instagram. It was a reel that went viral, and it looked so good and super easy. So I'm changing it up a little bit. In the reel that I saw, she did not use this brand. She used a different one, um, but it was way more expensive. It was like double the price. So I decided just to pick up the Classico, and I'm doing the spicy red pepper, but she used marinara. And then I got some Alfredo, but I got the roasted red pepper Alfredo um, just for some extra flavor. And she used regular Alfredo, so that is the main difference but you put a whole jar of your pasta sauce. Which is like a 28 ounce or 24 ounce jar. And then you do a 15 ounce jar of your Alfredo right on top. Then you put in three to four chicken breasts. So I'm gonna do three because these are like massive chicken breasts. And you top it off with some onion powder. She didn't say how much, so just like sprinkle as much as you want on there, I guess. Then you do some garlic powder. And then you do red chili flakes. We like things really spicy around here, so I'm going to put a lot of these. And then you can add some Italian seasoning or oregano or whatever uh, you have. You go ahead and you mix it all up. 
And then you're just gonna go ahead and cook that yeah. for four hours on high, or I guess eight hours on low. I'm gonna do four hours on high. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? Isn't so, amazing? Robbie, the boy's elf, brought them these really cool advent calendars. This is like a Marvel one. It's like a storybook, so... So every day there's a cute little like book that you get, like a cute little story. And then, so this one is Quentin's and then Cam's is this one with cute little stories in there. This one. these two uh, bins of laundry sitting here for days like I don't even remember maybe even a week this is um, Trey's clean clothes these are Camden's clean clothes and then I actually have to do Quentin's tomorrow but I'm so bad when it comes to folding laundry you guys like I will just let it sit there for so long and here I am dumping it on my bed I'm not ready to get in my bed yet but I feel like if I dump it on my bed I will fold it while I'm sitting in bed like watching a show um, you, you would think, you would think that that's what I would do, right? That's probably not what I'm going to do if I'm being honest. I dump it on my bed and then <laughs> by the time I want to go to sleep, I just put it all back in. I'm honestly so tired right now that I could fall asleep, but I'm trying to find some energy. I'm tempted to drink one of my like Alani new energy drinks that I just got, but I'm not going to. I think it's like almost 8 p.m. There's no way I can drink an energy drink right now. That would be like a huge mistake, but I'm really tempted to. And then I also kind of want a glass of wine because I'm like, I have a few things that I want to do. Like I want to sit down and edit and like I like to have a glass of wine when I'm doing things like that. Um, but I know a glass of wine, like I will pass out. I'll fall asleep right away. So I definitely can't do that. So anyway, I just need to find that like little bit of energy to make it through the rest of the night because I do have things that I need to do, like fold all this laundry. Um... But I did want to mention some good shows um, and movies and stuff on TV because I, lo I love when you guys share your recommendations with me. So I figure I'll share mine with you. Alex and I are currently watching, and I think I mentioned this in my last vlog, um, A Murder at the End of the World. And it is on, I think it's an FX show, but it's on Hulu right now. And the new episode actually might be airing tonight. I have to check on that. But we're currently watching that, and it's really good really good it's like a thriller crime mystery with like some drum it's like it's very good and it you're like on the edge of your seat and it's like a m murder mystery kind of show but it's really good um and then also we just finished watching the uber show on netflix um which was really good too and then we did watch ballers a couple months ago i loved it it's an hbo show I believe it's an HBO show, but it was on um, Netflix. I'm not sure if it's still on there, but it has The Rock in it. And it was a really, really good series. So we wa we watched the whole thing. And then we're watching, also right now, um, 
because we just finished the Uber show. We were waiting for the new episode of A Murder at the End of the World. And so we're watching a movie right now. And I forget what it's called, but it's it was just released recently on Netflix. And it's got Julia Roberts in it. And we're only like a third of the way through the movie. But I've read so many good reviews on it. Like people say it's so good. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. Like it's like a, there's a twist or whatnot. It's like a thriller. And so far it is really, really good. So I can't wait to continue to watch that. So those are all my recommendations so far. Um, personally, I just finished The Golden Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise, which I haven't watched those shows in forever, but these seasons were really good. So I watched those. They were on Hulu. And then, um, what else? I'm rewatching The O.C., um, there's something else I'm watching. Oh, this is what I wanted to mention. My Life with the Walter Boys. I think that's what it's called. My Life with the Walters. No, it's My Life. My Life with the Walter Boys. It is so good. It's like cute. It's like a teen show. Um, kind of reminds me of, um, The Summer I Turned Pretty. Um, it's kind of like that kind of show. It's cute and there's some drama in there and I really, I'm really, really into it. So, I still have a few episodes left to go of the season, but it's a new show that just came out on Netflix. So another recommendation. If you like shows like uh, The Summer I Turned Pretty, I think you'll probably like this. But definitely drop your current favorite shows and movies down below. Uh, I feel like whenever I ask this, like I ask it on Instagram a lot and people give really good recommendations, but I've literally seen everything. I love, I'm like a TV addict. I love watching my TV. So I've seen so many things that y'all have recommended, but I'm always just like searching for that new thing that I haven't seen. So drop them below. Let me know. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'm going to jump in the shower um, and start editing this vlog and then try and relax a little bit. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And again, if you do want to try out the Dreamland Baby Sleep Sack, it is 20% off the entire website plus the free shipping as well. Liza Adele is the code. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.